It's Betty. Okay, you've heard it all before, and possibly from every realtor, and maybe even me. Here are some basic fixes that sell, help sell a house. First of all, you need to spend a few dollars to make a few dollars. My rule of thumb is, 1% of your asking price should be set aside for your rental budget. You may not spend that much, but it's a place to start. Certain projects will get you more, but in more, most cases, you won't get all your money back. Let's start with the kitchen. You can expect to get about 75 to 100% of your investment back. That's because most buyers don't want to undertake the job. Here are some suggestions. Cabinets can be cleaned, sanded, and painted to look like new. Hardware can easily be updated, quickly and inexpensively. Get rid of outdated track lights. Focus mostly on task lighting or under cabinet, mount, under cabinet lighting. Backsplashes can be refreshed with a coat of paint or new tiles. For a bit more of a splurge, rep replace laminate cabinets or old countertops with something a little bit more high-end, perhaps granite? New appliances? Maybe. Or just really scrub the old ones and please make sure they work. Next, bathrooms. Painting the vanity and changing light fixtures and cabinet hardware can easily refresh the space. If you decide to change the faucets, taps, and shower heads, stay under $100. Storage is always an issue in the bathroom. Think about closet or cupboard organizers, or maybe adding some extra shelving. If you have a high budget, you may think of totally renovating and creating a spa-like bathroom. Talk to your realtor, and I hope it's me, before you undertake a project that large to make sure it's worth it in your neighborhood. How about a new coat of paint? A fresh coat of paint works wonders and you get about a return of 50 to 70 cents on every dollar that you spend. This is the least expensive rental. If you don't want to paint, make sure to scrub marks and fingerprints off walls. Now, flooring. Ripping out old worn out carpets or replacing battered floors can offer a return of 75 to 100 percent. Hardwood and laminate offer the highest return in today's market. Some other upgrades to consider? Replacing doors and windows can bring you 70 to 75% return. And in the, <coughs> excuse me, in the meantime, it helps you save on energy costs. Landscaping, first impressions. Make that home appealing as the buyer is driving up to your home. You can do this for about $100. Just clean your front yard, replant some flower pots, lay a nice welcome mat, and maybe paint the front door. Now that I have given you everything to do, here's some things not to do. Don't finish the basement unless you're planning to use it yourself for a little while. Skip that skylight. Avoid adding a swimming pool or a jacuzzi. If you're working with a contractor, make sure that the project comes in under that 1% resale price rental budget. Now, any further questions? How about I come over and we chat about what should be done? This chat is free. I'll even provide the coffee or tea. Give me a call, Betty, call me direct, 416-427-1875.